Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Mads and I'm so excited. This is always my favorite video to film and that is my TBR cards pick my reads for the month of July. I cannot believe that we are so far into the year already. Where has the time gone? But also we have a little bit of a twist on today's TBR cards. Now, for those of you that are new here, I love these cards so much that like, I will literally reward myself if I do something in work and I get it done. I'll tell myself once I finish it, then I can just pretend to pick my TBR for the month. I don't know, the cards are really cute, I love them. But I have a new addition, which is mini books in this jar. Look, look at how many freaking books are on my TBR. Anyways, while Playing around with the cards, I realized that some of them I don't have anymore. When I originally made these cards, they were tailored to my TBR, but I have since read books off of my TBR. So there's just some cards that just don't match up with the books I have on my TBR. So if I pull a card that doesn't match, I am going to dip into the jar of the mini books and pick my reads, which I'm terrified for because I've been doing this. Like I said, I just like looking at my mini books and my cards, and 90% of the time I pick a book I don't want to read. So let's just all hope and pray that I don't have to select from this freaking jar. So on average I read around 10 books a month, maybe 12 if there's not a lot going on socially, but usually it's around 10 and I have actually already picked out a book series that I want to read this month and I mean the entire series because I want to binge this. The Prison Healer Trilogy. I've heard such amazing things and I literally just met Lynette Nonny and I've read her entire Akane series, The Whisper Duology, and I've been saying that I didn't want to start the Prison Healer Trilogy until I finished her other work and I have so it is time for the Prison Healer and I'm so incredibly excited. So that's three books that we're gonna put aside. So that means seven cards. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I really, really hope it's good picks. I really do. Cause I kind of like already in my mind know what I want to read. I have my eyes. Oh, there's one. I didn't see it. I try not look at it. I have my eyes obviously on the Prison Healer trilogy. So that is a given. But I have my eyes on Collide, which just released. And then I also have my eye on a few thriller books. I don't know. I think that's it. I think that's really it. That's all I have my eyes on at the moment. Got it. Okay, we have our TBR cards. Here is my lovely shelf. It's actually quite big. Okay, so let's go through and look at all the cards that I selected. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh, okay. We have a good first one. Thriller, which I'm so, so excited because like I said, I have my eye on a few thrillers. The second, okay, people on the cover. I don't have any with people on the cover, so we know what that means. Oh, okay, 400 pages, not bad, not bad. Okay, enemies to lovers. We have a lot of options for enemies to lovers. You girl is a sucker for enemies to lovers. Friends to lovers. <gasps> yes, thriller. That means two thrillers this month. Oh, thank goodness. <gasps> Highly anticipated read. Guys, we got amazing cards. We got amazing cards. I am going to start out with the two thriller book. I already know what I'm going to pick, but I have a few options. Okay, so the first option that this is just a choice. I'm doing this. So it's not an option. First choice. We have Karen Slaughter Pretty Girls. Now, boy oh boy, do I have a story for you. You know how I was saying earlier how I just love pretending to pick up my TBR for the month as like a reward? I was doing that with my boyfriend Charlie and I was like, oh, how many pages is it? I accidentally spoiled the ending for myself. I have been wanting to read this book since September. I bought this on my freaking birthday. Okay, I have been wanting to read this book for so, so long and I freaking spoiled it. Or at least I think I spoiled it. But I'm gonna whew, whew, get rid of that and just like go in and I don't know, think of something different. Because if it is that person, it's very obvious. But anyways, I've heard amazing things about this. Quite gruesome things though as well. Apparently it's quite heavy. All I know is a missing girl, a hope never lost, a killer never found. 20 years ago, Claire Scott's elder sister, Julia, went missing. It was a mystery that was never solved and it tore her family apart. Now another girl has disappeared with chilling echoes of the past. And Claire is convinced that Julia's disappearance is linked. So that sounds really exciting. So that is pick number one. And also this is great because I have to do the final read through of my own thriller. It is a paranormal thriller and it is being released in a couple of weeks. So make sure you guys subscribe or you go to my Instagram and follow me because that's where I put everything out into the world. Hi, hello. Just going to stop you there real quick because hello on your TBR for the month of July, you should put on the Air of Broken Fate series because hi, my name is Mads Rafferty and I actually wrote her. It is a enemies to lovers romance. It follows Princess Delilah who runs to the Fade, asks for help to free her oppressed people only to find out that the Fade need her help more
more. She needs to save not only the entire Fey race, but magic itself. It's got enemies to lovers, elemental magic, mermaids, dragons, griffins. Who did this to you? One bed trip. It truly has everything you want and need in a romancy. She is on Kindle Unlimited, but if you want these stunning, beautiful covers on your shelf, you can get her off of Amazon. And for those of you that didn't realize the second is now out, go binge her. Because nobody, that is my dog, <laughs> nobody has been able to guess the heartbreaking, shocking betrayal that happens at the end. And I wish you all good luck and you need tissues. Anyways, back to the video. I hope that you guys read Airbreaking Fate. Bye. For the second thriller card, we have two selections. We have Survive the Night by Riley Sager. I am a sucker for Riley Sager. Sucker. I love his work. I'm feeling drawn to this, but I'm also knowing that I don't think it's that good. Or as good as his other work. People that I do see talk about it who are Riley Sager fans, they don't love this as much as they love the others. So I'm like, do I really want to pick up a lackluster thriller? I also just realized I have stuff on my Kindle. I actually have a lot on my Kindle. On my Kindle, I have the new Freedom McFadden release, The Housemaid is Watching. But with that in mind, I kind of want to wait. Or I have a new release, Our Darkest Summer, that I actually got the arc for, that I actually saw amazing reviews on. And I have a feeling it's going to be good. I kind of feel like Our Darkest Summer. Oh, but then I'm not getting like a physical book off my TBR. Or the other option is The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave, which is a Reese book club pick, which usually they're like phenomenal books. Oh, and I've heard really great things about it. Oh god, I don't actually know. Let's see if like this just pulls one of the thrillers out. Of course, of freaking course, I pulled out both. The Last Thing He Told Me and Survive the Night by Riley Sager. How did I pull out both? How? Okay, you know what? Okay, this is what we're going to do because I can't pick. Okay, one, Riley Sager Survive the Night. Two, The Last Thing He Told Me. And number three, Our Darkest Summer on Kindle. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. Pick a number between one and three. It got one. Okay, Riley Sager it is. That is a really good system for when I can't pick. Let's do highly anticipated read. Collide. 400 exactly. So I think I'm going to put the 400 page book. Unless, I don't think I have another highly anticipated. Oh, whoop. I do. 400 pages. We have Collide. Now, for highly anticipated, y'all are going to be shocked. I'm going to read this. I was going to leave it for August, but I'm definitely going to read now. This is the arc. It was sent by Hatchet. Thank you, Claudia. Immortal Dark. No soul can enter without an invitation. This is yours. A lost heiress, a soulless vampire, a secret drenched in blood. Vampires are absolutely making a comeback. And I believe this is enemies to lovers. It's enemies to lovers, morally grey characters, hidden universities, and secrets to be unveiled. I have never read a Dark Academia book, so it will be quite interesting to see if I like this. I'm quite excited because I have seen fellow friends and readers rate this very highly. So I'm very excited. I'm also very excited because... This is so off, but in two years time, I have planned to write my own vampire series, so I've been just getting into the vampire mood recently for research purposes, but yeah, I'm really excited. We have enemies to lovers. We have a lot of picks here. I think it's time to finally mark this series as done. Oh yeah, I have yet to read it, and I'm quite disappointed in myself because I have this giant beast of a paperback, and literally, literally, today, they released a smaller version, and like, I already know I have to buy it. Because I have to annotate it because the small UK versions are pink. They're stunning. They're beautiful. This is a monstrosity and I need to annotate it. So after this, I'm going to order it of Amazon. <laughs> for enemies to lovers, we have A Curse for True Love. I need to finally read how this story ends. Now, the next two cards, I don't think I have anything to pick from. We have People on the Cover, which I don't think cartoon covers really count. And then we have Friends to Lovers. The only book that I think is Friends to Lovers is The Dead Romantics, but I could be completely wrong. I just know that they, her editor, that's it. I don't know, probably won't be friends or lovers. So you know what that means. Oh my god, I don't want to do this. Okay, we have to select two books from the TBR jar. And if I truly hate the books that have been picked, I will pick another card. I know that that's like cheating, but it's okay because I make the rules. First one, no. Straight up, no. This is torture. I literally just posted a YouTube video going, I'm probably never going to read this. Bear Town. No. I don't care. <sighs> Seriously. Why can't I just get like, is it not like mixing? Watch me do this like a thousand times. Okay, this one I actually will do. It's getting on. 
I wouldn't mind a romance. Do I not? I have one romance. Yeah, okay, you know what? This is not working. This will send me into a slump. But we're picking more cards. We just need two cards. Watch everyone in the comments call me a cheater. There's one. Oh, I know what needs to be on here. I know what needs to be on here. First, we have prettiest cover, which while I was shuffling, I remembered the book that I need to read this month. Powerful. Anticipation for Reckless, I believe it is, to come out on the second. I need to read this. And it's a novella and it's short. Then we have Ghosts. Which, okay, so for ghosts, we could read Shirley Jackson, The Haunting of Hill House and go for a classic and it's short. I feel like it'll be a really quick read. It might be good for research purposes. I feel like I am leaning towards this or we could do The Dead Romantics. I want to read this, but I also want to read this. Options, options, choices, choices. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to select this because I feel like you really have to be in the mood to pick this. And if it's one of those months where I read 11 to 12 books instead of 10, then I will read The Dead Romantics. There we go. So we have chosen my reads. I'm actually really happy about this selection. And I'm definitely like in my thriller era at the moment too. And I feel like we have a lot of thriller on here and fast paced reads, which is really good. And it's predominantly fantasy and thriller. I love that. Okay, let's go through the books that I'm going to read in the month of July. Of course, starting off strong, we have the Prison Healer trilogy. Words cannot describe how excited I am for this series. Then for 400 pages, we have Kalai, which is a hockey sports romance. Then for our first thriller card, we have Survive the Night by Riley Sager. Then the next thriller card, we have Karen Slaughter, Pretty Girls. Then for Ghost, then we have Shirley Jackson, The Haunting of Hill House. Then we have Prettiest Cover, which is Powerful by Lauren Roberts. Then we have Enemies to Lovers, finally, A Curse for True Love. And last but not least, a highly anticipated read, Immortal Dark, which is a Enemies to Lovers vampire academy setting fantasy and that is it those are the 10 books i'm going to read in the month of july thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments down below what you think of everything books i don't really know but thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time Mwah! bye